Hey everyone, here's Kip K's $10 police flashlight hack. Uh, myself and others have found out that this light is a complete waste and I'm going to show you why. Alright, one of the biggest problems was cost. Um, in his video, the estimated project cost was $10. This light ended up costing me $26 to make. One of the greatest expenses being batteries, um, which cost me $20 at Meijer. The actual flashlight cost $5 at Home Depot and the, bat or the bulb ended up costing me a dollar at Radio Shack. So total project cost for me was $26, which is a lot more than $10. Um, even at $10, it's another one of the problems is the reflector wasn't made to withstand the heat. So in most cases, like mine, the reflector will melt, causing the beam to be almost to a point where it's insufficient or inconsistent. Another great problem with the light is the contact points. The light was designed to work with two AA batteries and with the aftermarket batteries the contact points in most cases when you flip the switch the light will not even light up. You have to shake it and then you can see the beam right there, it almost looks like a moon, is very inconsistent due to the melted reflector. So if I shake this around you have a very not reliable light. I'm not even touching the switch right now and it's flickering on and off. Overall, this project was cool in theory, but I wouldn't even waste my time or money attempting to create this. Instead, I would go out and purchase an LED flashlight. For example, this Coleman LED Performance Flashlight can be picked up for under $25. In my case, I got a second one for $18 on sale in the camping section. So, there you go guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.